Hello everybody and welcome to Arts and Girl Gaming. My name is Heather and I thank you for joining me for more Farm Together Fun. Yeah, this is a part of my series of tips for newbies, things I've been learning along the way as I build my farm in Farm Together. And today what I want to talk about is visiting friends. So we're going to start by going to another farm, which I'm going to do by exiting my game. And then find farms. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start with someone who has a really big farm like Lord Bessa. Uh, number one, because it's gonna be beneficial to us, there's probably plenty of things to harvest. All right, so the reason I wanna go in and harvest is because it's gonna benefit me when I go back to harvest my farm. So not only is it fun to visit other people's farms, but it's, it's really beneficial. So this is Lord Besso's welcome message. Please plow, please help with quests. I'm trying to earn more medals and they're away. So a lot of times we'll keep the farms open when we're not playing the game, which is a great thing to do. Oh my gosh, look at this farm. Holy schmoly. Let's look at the map. Wow, so they have a flat farm and they have the whole map open and look at how everything is laid out. I'm gonna do a video on the maps um, in the future, but for right now, if you see the little grids with the X's in them, those are things that are able to be harvested and each of those points that are colored are points we can pop around to and from. So it makes it really easy to navigate. You just get on here look at your map and we're gonna go ahead and go to 14 dang okay so starting the harvesting this is why it's gonna be important once I harvest something do you see over by my little icon in the corner I got the lightning bolt as long as I fill up that whole lightning bolt and then go back to my farm I will have extra benefit to my harvest so it's a good practice to get into to come into someone else's farm your friends strangers anybody who has an open farm you can come in you can harvest you can give them the spoils of the harvest by doing so which is nice for them because they don't have to come in and do it and now we're harvesting beans so if i can replant beans I might do that for them since they have 5 billion coins. 5 billion coins! Oh my gosh! But anyway, I want to fill up that lightning bolt. I think it gives me 30 minutes on my farm to do the harvesting. So a good habit to get into is to come in first thing in the morning or first thing before you go in and pick up your game. And that way you get your meter filled up, you go back to your game, you harvest your overnight stuff and everything is good to go. Now let's see if we can lay down some beans for this person. I don't know if it's the right season. No peas. So I think I'll just leave it. Normally I'll, I'll just see if I can replant whatever I harvested. I'm going to go ahead and do some fish. Help them out there. Some people will ask you not to harvest uh, fish or animals, but that is not the case here. Wow, nice. I'm gonna have to go get some more gas too. So let's see, I'm gonna go back to the bus stop here so I can get some gas and then we'll go find another area to harvest. Uh, Let's go to, well, let's go to number one. Check that out. Look, these fish. I wonder if they're all never ending. I have no idea how that is the case. I, I need to figure that out. That's pretty cool. If anybody watching this knows, uh, let me know because I'm really curious. I'm really jealous because this person has 3,000 ribbons and... I, ugh, I need them so bad. I wish I could borrow some. Get a loan, maybe. <laughs> I don't know if that's possible, but it sure would be nice if it was. But I'm going to favorite this farm before we leave. Ooh, and I am full up on my energy. So let's go ahead and finish plowing this 
plot for him. Be a good steward of his farm. Well, I'm going to go ahead and favorite Lord Bessa by hitting add to favorites. That way I can get my find my way back to this farm eventually. And now I'm going to go back to my farm. So we're going to hit exit game. Yes. Go back to my farm, which is puny compared to Lord Bessa's. Sorry, I think I kept calling it calling him Lord Besso. But now I have 16 minutes that I can harvest on my farm. So what I'm going to actually do, I'm going to start over here and see what animals I can get. I try to go for the greatest impact because it. somebody said it doubles what you get um with the harvest i'm not sure that it's actually double because i don't have like everything memorized so i'm not a hundred percent on that but it's definitely helpful i'm going to come up here and do this crop because this is one of my highest payout crops and it gives me a nice little way to start my day i'd like to get to where i have a million coins and i sit in that million very comfortably I get there and then I spend it so right now I'm not at a very good point for that but I'm working on it so you do see you get double I didn't notice this before but you get double the crop as well so not only just double the money I never noticed that the one thing I don't like to do is waste any time planting when I have this boost because that's just not worth it at my in my opinion i don't want to waste any time with it and you can go back and you can work on more people's farms and come back in and do this that is totally doable as well i like to do it first thing in the morning just because i have a ton of stuff already ready to go like right now i need to harvest this tree for a quest doesn't seem to double benefit me though unfortunately this is a really good thing to do as well when you are in quest where you need lots of fish because it is definitely uh, an easier way to double your fish haul and fish are sometimes so very hard to get to get when you need them I guess is what I'm actually trying to say oh good I finished one of my quests yay Happy day. Thank you, Boost. All right, start, stopped harvesting the sorghum because I was full up on my grains and I need grains for in this house. So I figured I would go ahead and uh, unlo unload some so that I can grab some more with the harvest because I'm always stressing on the grains. That's always something I'm kind of lagging behind even though I plant them every night. I'll fill them back up pretty quick with the bonus. I have about seven minutes left. Making pretty good headway on my farm. Grapes are full, so I'm going to go back and uh, drop them off. I don't want to miss out on too much opportunity to get diamonds. All right, so I'm going to run out of time before um, I've harvested my entire farm, which simply means I'm going to go back to a neighbor's farm again and visit them. But I did, I did do very well. I got, I would say I probably ended up harvesting about, I will say by the time I'm done, I'll probably have been able to harvest all of my crops, if not most of them, not any of my trees, or, or I should say not many of my trees, but it's just such a great way to start your day. As you see, I've already leveled up my farm one level, but before I'm done, I'm going to level up a second level. And... You know, I want to take my time a little bit. I don't want to waste all of what I'm doing because I fill up my storage. So that's the other thing to keep in mind. If you have a smaller farm, you might want to invest in some uh, additional storage so you have a little bit more room than you might have before you started going and doing this trick to make your day more beneficial. Uh, for me, I have a, a semi larger farm and I need to do it too. So I'm going to add another barn just so that I have enough storage 
that I don't miss out. I don't want to miss out on fruits. I don't want to miss out on things that I can convert. There we go. I leveled up again. Convert into diamonds or other, you know, currency that I can spend to spruce up my farm. So that that is my look at using friends to your benefit, visiting other farms, and doing what's best for your farm while learning how to play the game and maximizing, you know, what your takeaway is from it because, whoa, hello, did not mean to do that, just want to do that. It makes the game a lot less stressful when you can maximize the things that make it more beneficial to you and let you grow at a little bit faster rate because sometimes it can seem like you're just you're grinding and grinding and grinding and not getting the benefit of that grind but you totally can so those are my tips if you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up let me know you watched and of course if you're new to my channel and you'd like to see more farm together or other content that I create, please go ahead and subscribe and then ring the bell because that will let YouTube know you'd like notifications when I post something new on the channel and that way you don't miss out on anything coming down the line and I have lots more coming and I'd love to have you along for the ride. Until then, have a great one.